today I'm going to be talking about solving linear systems using elimination. So when we use elimination, we're going to take the system and we're going to pick the first two equations and we're going to eliminate one variable. So I'm going to write this down. And I'm going to choose to eliminate the x. So I'm going to multiply the top one by a negative 2. I'm going to rewrite this. And then write the second one. And then the x's cancel out, and then I'm going to combine. So that is my first new equation. Now I'm going to take the second two, and I'm going to eliminate the same variable. And I'm going to eliminate the x again. So I'm going to multiply the bottom by 2. Okay. The x's cancel out, and we have 4y minus y, so that gives us 3y, negative 6z, and 3. Now we're going to take our two new equations and write them in a system, and we're going to eliminate one variable. So we're going to have 3y minus 6z equals 3, and negative 9y plus 14z equals negative 5. And I think the easiest one to eliminate is going to be our y, so I'm going to multiply by a negative 3. So I'm going to have a negative 9, oh, sorry, by a positive 3, and that gives us a 9y minus 18z equals 9, and a negative 9y plus 14z equals a negative 5. The y's cancel out, and we get a negative, 14, a negative 4z equals 4. We divide, and we get z equals a negative 1. Now that we know z is negative 1, I can plug it back into this equation and get y. z is a negative 1, so we get 3y plus 6 equals 3. Subtract the 6. 3y equals negative 3. y equals a negative 1. And now that we have z and y, we can plug it into any equation. Let's just take this one to figure out x. So negative y, that'd be plus 1, minus 2 equals a negative 7. 2x minus 1 equals a negative 7, 2x equals a negative 6, x equals a negative 3. So our order triple for this system is going to be a negative 3, a negative 1, and a negative 1. All right, let's try another one. Okay, now this one, if we notice, two of them have variables three variables, and one of them has two variables. So I'm going to take the two equations that have three variables and eliminate the y so it will match the one in the middle with x and z. So I'm going to have 4x plus 2y plus 3z equals 12, and 6x minus y plus 4z equals a negative 3. So we're going to eliminate the y, and to do that, we have to multiply the bottom by 2. So I'm 4x plus 2y plus 3z equals 12. 12x minus 2y plus 8z equals negative 6. And then we're going to simplify. We have 16x plus 11z equals 6, and that's our first equation. And we actually can combine it with the second one to eliminate a variable. So we have 16x plus 5z equals negative 6, and 16x 
plus 11z equals 6. And I'm going to eliminate the x by multiplying the bottom by a negative. So I have 16x plus 5z equals negative 6, and negative 16x minus 11z equals a negative 6. So we get a negative 6z equals a negative 12, so z is equal to 2. So now that we know that z is equal to 2, I can plug it into this bottom equation and figure out what x is. So we get 16x plus 22 equals 6. Subtract that, so we get 16x equals negative 16. x is equal to a negative 1. And now we can find an equation. Let's use the first one, the top first one, and do 4x, which is a negative 1, plus 2y, plus 3z, which is 2, equals 12. So we have a negative 4 plus 2y plus 6 equals 12. 2y plus 2 equals 12. 2y equals 10. So y is equal to 5. So our ordered triple for this one is negative 1, 5, and 2. And I have one more example for you using elimination. All right, now this one, once again, we have three equations with three variables. So I'm just going to pick the first two equations and then eliminate a variable. So we have x minus 2y plus z equals negative 11. And then we have 3x plus 2y minus z equals 7. Now, if you notice, we don't have to change anything because actually two of our variables are going to cancel out, our y and our z. So we get 4x is equal to negative 4. And this one's really nice because now we know what x is. So all we have to do now is go to our bottom 2 and eliminate. So we have 3x plus 2y minus z equals 7. And negative x plus 2y plus 4z is equal to a negative 9. And since we already know what x is, I don't want to eliminate the x. So what I'm going to do is eliminate the y. And the easiest way to do that is, is multiplying by negative 1. So we have 3x plus 2y minus z equals 7. x minus 2y minus 4z equals 9. So we now get 4x minus 5z equals 16. And since we know what x is, we can plug it into this equation. So we have 4 times negative 1 minus 5z equals 16. Negative 4 minus 5z equals 16. Add the 4. We get 20, and z equals a negative 4. And now that we know our x and our z, we can solve for y using any equation. Let's pick the first one. x is negative 1 minus 2y plus z, which is negative 4, equals a negative 11. Combine like terms, negative 2y minus 5 equals negative 11. Negative 2y equals negative 6. y equals 3. So our final solution for this one is negative 1, 3, and negative 4.